Yeah, well, when you when you start start a song, um, mm -hmm. what what comes first? What the, the? Yeah, I wish I I wish I had a formula to write a song. I, that's one of the things I think a lot of people uh, wish they had a formula. But it, it's just inspiration comes from anywhere. Uh, it could be a melody that you play on a guitar. Uh, it could be a lyric that you come up with. It could be a story that you overhear. Uh, it could be a feeling that you have, and and all those things kind of will will kind of bring itself towards music if you're a musician, if you express yourself musically. If you're a painter, the same thing applies. You know, you can listen to music or see things or hear things and that would make you want to paint something. So being an artist in that respect, I think music is my outlet. So anything really inspires me. And, and I think that's important to keep your eyes and your ears open for the, the most minute detail of something that is the tipping point for a good song. In this view, the, um, what sort of music comes from, from your first, is it pop, rock, is it? Yeah, I can't really say what I really like a lot. I mean, my radio shows uh, have shown me that I like all types of different music. And, you know, Louis Armstrong said there are two types of music, good music and bad music. So I think I like good music. So uh, be it jazz or rock or hip hop or funk or, or, or you know, whatever. You know, I think I, I tend to like the stuff that has an artistic intent rather than an economic intent, you know, rather than something that's meant to be sold, rather than something that's meant to be expressed. Can you always hear it? I can always hear it, I think, right off the bat. Uh, and, and I think it's just because I've been a musician for so long and you can kind of tell when something's uh, bullshit and when it's not. And, and a lot of times nowadays, I mean, we're, we're, there's so much music out there and there's not a, enough time in the day to listen to everything that's come out. So you really have to be almost critical to the point of staying away from stuff that you, you know that's not going to be up your alley. But then again, you have to always, also explore things that you don't know and, uh, and styles of music that you don't know to understand what you like and what you don't like. I was hoping people say when you listen to the first song of uh, Britney Spears, the mm -hmm. One More Time song, well, you can say it's a pop song, mm -hmm. uh, but it's, is it a good song? Uh, it's well written, yeah, it's catchy. I mean, that's the thing, that you can have a catchy song and it can be uh, sung by Britney Spears, but if Tom Waits sang that song and wrote that song, it would probably still be a good song. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's, there's a difference between a good song and a good performer, you know, and a good image and uh, a commercial image, you know, like someone who's just who they are, I think is more interesting. Uh, the human condition is more interesting, I think, rather than something that's that's contrived to sell records or, or to promote uh, a uh, an artist in a certain kind of genre, you know. So you're saying good and bad music, yeah, you have songwriting, mm -hmm. but you also have to perform. Yeah, I think it's most important nowadays to perform really well because uh, in the days of downloads and things like that, people can get music for free if they really want it or listen to it on Spotify and, and not have to actually purchase it. So I think when you're a musician, especially nowadays, you have to actually be able to play. And that's important, I think, because it allows people to actually have a personal connection with the music that they like. When they can come and see it being played and not have a, a vocal track being played underneath the actual vocal and stuff. So. Uh, you know, for us as a band, the Fun Love of Criminals, we always played live and we always considered ourselves a really good live band. And when I tried to do this project with uh, Huey and the New Yorkers, all the guys that are in the band are great live performers, you know, and we did one gig so far and uh, we did pretty good. And uh, it was one of those things where the people really enjoyed themselves. We enjoyed ourselves as well. And uh, we wanted to keep playing, but we only had one album's worth of material, so we could only do so much. Yeah.